Hi. If you're familiar with Digilent, then you will most likely know about our popular zinc-based board, the Zebo. Released four years ago in 2013, the Zebo featured the Zinc 7010 APSOC from Xilinx, a combination FPGA and dual-core ARM Cortex A9. Since then, the Zebo has found its way into classrooms worldwide and thousands of engineers' workbenches. Now in 2017, I'm excited to announce that we have given the Zebo an update and are now releasing Gen 2 of this board, the Zebo Z7. The Zebo Z7 keeps the things that we love the most about the Zebo, but offers several improvements to help keep the Zebo namesake current. Let's take a look at some of these. The first improvement is that the Zebo Z7 now comes in two options, a 7010 version and a 7020. The 7010 version of the Zebo Z7 has the exact same zinc chip that was on the original Zebo, but doubles the DRAM from 512 megabytes to 1 gigabyte and uses DDR3L memory for lower power consumption. There has also been a minor improvement on the processor speed from 650 megahertz to 667 megahertz. The Zebo Z720 version has the same improvements as the Zebo Z710, but has an increase of three times the lookup tables, flip-flops, block RAM, and double the clock management tiles inside of the APSOC. Both versions of the Zebo Z7 still have onboard programming with a bypass header if you need to use your own JTAG programmer, USB on the go, Ethernet, a micro SD card slot, has configurable power from USB or external sources, and keeps audio, including headphone, microphone, and line in. These were all peripherals on the original Zebo, and there are no changes in these. Moving on, there are four switches, six buttons, plus two reset buttons, and four LEDs, like with the original Zebo. A change, though, is that we've added an RGB LED on the Zebo Z7. There's one on the 7010 and two on the 7020. Another significant update is the HDMI and VGA. The original Zebo had a single HDMI sync and source port with a unique configuration to choose which mode the HDMI was in. This was a creative solution at the time of release to allow users to have access to both VGA and HDMI. Since then, we've received feedback that users would prefer having dedicated HDMI in and HDMI out ports. So in the Zebo Z7, we've removed the VGA connector and replaced it with dedicated ports. Users that still need VGA support can purchase the recently released PMOD VGA. That brings me to the fourth major update. On the original Zebo, there were six PMOD connectors. This is the same for the Zebo Z720. However, on the Zebo Z710, there are only five connectors. We've left the six PMOD connector unloaded and routed the signals to support the most substantial change to the Zebo Z7, which is the addition of our new PCAM connector. This PCAM connector is the MIPI CSI2 interface. MIPI, or Camera Serial Interface, is a standard connector that supports high-speed video options such as 1080p, 4K, and high-resolution photography. You can use a wide range of camera options such as the popular Raspberry Pi camera or the new Digilent PCAM module that will be released later in the year. For those customers that are using the Zebo in courses, there may be some concern about migrating from the original Zebo to one of the Zebo Z7 options. To help you make this transition, we've created a migration guide that you will be able to access on the Zebo Z7 Resource Center. You can purchase the Zebo Z7 on the Digilent website or through one of our authorized distributors. For a limited time, we're offering a free SDSOC voucher with any purchase of the Zebo Z720 through the Digilent website. We are excited about this refresh of the Zebo product line and think that you will be too. Let us know what you think and be sure to check it out at digilentinc.com/zebo-z7. Thank you.